Hey guys, Bad Infos here. Do you fancy yourself as a veteran of GTA Vice City? Have you played it for hundreds of hours looking for every possible hidden secret around the city? Well, even if so, I'll now show you 10 things you didn't know about the game. Know everything? That's fine, leave a dislike. But if I teach you something new, be sure to click on like. So, let's begin. Number 10. You might know of the vehicle Romero's hearse. Well, it's a hearse, obviously. What you might not know is that they have a shop selling caskets. Right behind the shop you'll find four graves, one of which contains an exposed skeleton. What's more interesting is that only a few feet away from the shop you'll find another shop called Carnicero Romero Family Butchers, selling meat. Always fun and dandy until you look closer and see that it's actually human organs. So what does all this information tell you? Both shops are working together. One brother buries the people and when nobody's looking he digs them up, gives them to his brother, who in turn chops them up into little bits and sells them to the customers. Number 9. There's a hidden bow game. Just find a beach bow in one of the pools. After shooting or kicking it, it will fly into the air and you'll be able to bounce it on your head. With each hit, the counter increases and only gets reset after the bow touches the ground. Number 8. GTA Vice City got many changes from its beta days. Being developed as an expansion pack, Vice City quickly turned into a fully fledged separate game. The first notable change being the map itself. Some areas got completely wiped, such as the Hyman Memorial Stadium or the Lighthouse. Others were added to, like the beach area. The Vice City mall wasn't a mall at all. The airport got changed a lot, where we can see a ghost tower, which is still visible when approaching the second island, but right after loading in the other part of the map it disappears. Many characters got a name change, others changed their appearance. Some missions from Avery, the film studio and even from a deleted character, Mr. Muffet, were deleted. Some hidden but disabled phone calls can be found in the game files, some of which are from Mercedes and Phil. Tell me it's me. Hi Mercedes. Tell me I'm so bored. When are we going to have some fun? What do you mean? Well, I know you're busy fighting and killing and corrupting people, but I just want to have some fun, so don't forget about me, okay? Many weapons were deleted, including an AK-47, and Vice City is the only GTA game without an AK-47. Number 7. This GTA game is the one with the highest number and the most helpful glitches. More than 50% of the missions can be basically skipped if you happen to be playing on the PC version. That involves using replay exploits. Properties can be bought without spending any money. The number of fares in Taxi Driver can be half. You can do two missions at the same time via the help of rampages. Some missions can be passed instantly right after getting in the marker and all sorts of other crazy things. Number 6. If you get inside the Vice City News building, you get teleported to the roof. After you climb the stairs, adjust yourself correctly and jump to the next building you see a literal easter egg with the words Happy Easter. Number 5. There are many movie, music, politics and history references in the game. I'll only show you some of them because this list is enormous. During Auto Sight, 6 people are references to different competitor games. Mike Griffin is Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter, Dick Tanner from Driver, Marcus Hammond, Franco Carter and Charlie Dewson from The Getaway, and Nick Conk from True Crime Streets of LA. There's a billboard advertising Fern World which is a reference to Disney World, judging by the font used, and the castle with fireworks. A shop window for the two shop reads, Dude Up, It's Hammer Time, which is a parody of MC Hammer's song You Can't Touch This. The billboard that states, Look, we have a boat that belonged to a loser, refers to the ship RRS Discovery, the loser part refers to the captain of the ship Robert Scotton, who arrived at the South Pole, but 21 days after Rose Amundsen. There's a mailing company called called Spant Express, abbreviated to Spant X, which is a parody of FedEx. And I guess you know what Spandex is. 
This yellow car door is a reference to the TV series The Dukes of Hazard, where you can always see a yellow car door in Cooter's garage. The new countdown is a pun of the song The Final Countdown. The building Rockstar International is supposed to be Rockstar Games' building. The name and logo are really similar to Rockstar's. The name Escobar International Airport is a reference to the Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar. Hyman Memorial Stadium is a reference to the Hyman Roth from The Godfather 2. Apartment 3C is a direct replica of one of the apartments in Scarface. In one scene, Tony Montana and his colleague Angel walk into a Colombian hotel in which they get tortured. Inside it we can find a chainsaw, whiskey, cocaine and bloodstains. The Versailles Mansion is also a replica of Tony Montana's mansion. The Malibu Club is also inspired by Scarface. In the Malibu Club you can see a fireman, a construction worker, a biker, soldier and a policeman, which is a reference to the village people. The bank job outfit is a reference to Jason from Friday the 13th. This poster is an edited version of the Iron Maiden's mascot Eddie the Hit. The Top Fun Vans are a reference to Top Gun. Number 4. The waters of Vice City have many secrets. There are four shipwrecks, one being at the northern side of Vice City and the others are next to the North Bridge area. One of the ships is made by the same company that owned the ship that Cloud and 8 Ball blew up in GTA 3. You can also find two men wearing cement shoes, which apparently have been interrogated by the Mafia of the city and drowned. And finally, during the mission Phnom Phen 86, you see a man jumping off a bridge into the water. This is a scripted event and it will happen 100% of the time. Number 3. Vice City is the game with the most changes done to its gameplay after the game was actually released. Many weapons were renamed. The tear gas weapon was removed in the later versions. The 3.1 version of Vice City suffered the most changes. It was called the Cuban Haitian friendly version due to an article made in 2003 saying that a big chunk of the game is about killing Haitians caused an uproar by said group of people, causing protests in front of the New York City Hall. This forced the game to receive some major changes to its story. Rockstar Games changed a lot of the dialogue, subtitles and phone calls to remove the Haitian and Cuban references. Here are some examples. Papi, who grabbed Lorema? Back to my son, what happened? The Haitians. I hate these Haitians. They messed with me for the last time. We'll take him out. Only we need a backup. Papi! Who grabbed Lorema? Back to my son, what happened? Who grabbed Lorema? They messed with me. They messed with me for the last time. What is your problem? We'll take him out. Only we need a backup. These changes are terrible because the story makes absolutely no sense in many of the cases. Who are you even going after? It's never explained. Some missions have a lot of dead air when you can see hand motions and lips move but no words come out. The outfit of Auntie Paulette was also changed. Number 2. When the in-game clock reaches 2300 hours, the lights of the hotel next to Club Malibu light up, revealing a very unpleasant image. Above the hotel you will also notice a fountain being activated every 15 seconds, spewing some... Ahem, uh, water. And finally, number one. Have you ever wondered why pulling a wheelie is sometimes very hard or even impossible but others it's easy? This is me going full speed and trying to pull a wheelie. Here is me doing the same. And what do you know, no problems. Well, this is called the North Bug. When facing North, it's impossible to pull a wheelie at full speed. And those were the 10 most unknown secrets in Vice City. Again, if you knew them all, then leave a dislike. I won't be mad. But if I teach you something new, then the like button is right there too. Do you know more secrets? Then share them in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.